Hi everyone, welcome back to a new Let's Play series. Um, this time we're going to be playing House of Ashes. It's the third game in the Dark Pictures anthology. Um, in the last few weeks I've managed to get myself <laughs> through both Little Hope and Man of Medan. Um, so obviously now that this game is coming out, I need to play this one too. Um, you think that because I've played the other games I'm ready? But I'm far, far, far from ready! <laughs> um, I am actually really scared. I don't know what it is about this one. Of course, I know nothing about it. I'm going into it completely and utterly blind. No clue what to expect. But from like the few pictures I've seen, this game really, really scares me. I don't know what it is compared to the other two, but yes, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm very, very, very nervous. But I guess we're just gonna jump straight into it. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. <laughs> um, ooh. Forgiving, survival is expected. Challenging, your skills will be tested. Lethal, death is inevitable. Um, we haven't had this option before in the other games. I guess we're gonna go for challenging. I'm definitely not gonna go for forgiving. But lethal, like death is expected? I don't know. I don't know what that means, but we can always play it on another difficulty. I think I'm gonna go for challenging. New slot, there you go. I actually even dreamt about this tonight, guys. I dreamt, you know, that I went into like the woods with a couple of friends and then it turned out that one of them was a murderer and then we were spending like the whole night trying to survive and not get killed. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm coming prepared. For they have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind. Okay, Hosea 8-7. Hmm. Every choice has a consequence. Yeah, 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 yeah I know. <laughs> and that stresses me out so much, guys. Some decisions save lives. Oh, we're in the desert. That's so cool. Others. Others lead to death. Yeah, there you go. Great. <laughs> Choose wisely. Yeah, but I'm not very wise. That's the whole problem. I feel like I always make all the wrong decisions. And I deal very badly under stressful situations. Very badly. Oh! 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 A card? 2231 BC. Ah! I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Bellato, forgive me, my lord. I need to very quickly... The subtitles... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm already way too much into it. But the subtitles, I thought minimal would be good. But I guess we need all. There we go. Let's keep it like that. There you go, presence. that's good. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to herself. I'll deal with him later. I was ready for some quick time events. <laughs> no. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. King, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. Okay. So is the king going a little bit crazy? The moon god sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The Moon God sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Yeah, I think he's just prisoning them time. all. Mm. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. 
His mask makes me feel so uncomfortable. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. General, does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen. Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. Ooh. Ah! Uh, I want to be reluctant. I don't want to kill can... her. I know that's a test. Right the girl alive. I know it's a test, but I don't want to kill her. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. Oh. Okay, I'm ready. Oh. Do I not want to like fail the quick time events? I'm on her side, not his. But you're not gonna escape, bro. Like, do you see how many people there are here? Oh, well. Yeah, but where? Oh! They're not giving us a circle anymore! But I didn't- I didn't want to kill her though. I feel really bad. <laughs> I just got swept up with the- the introduction. <laughs> they tell me to aim. I aim. I shoot. <laughs> I didn't want to kill her. Oh no. Oh. Ugh. Mm. Okay. Oh. Oh, why not grab it by the hair? Why are you grabbing it by the throat? Oh. Why? Eesh. Of all places to grab. Oh my god. That's gruesome. Does that count as my th first death already? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> By the way, guys, I have my volume turn up quite a bit, which I never do, but I felt like it was appropriate this time, so I suggest you guys do that as well. Please suffer with me. Please. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 oh! oh! Okay. He's the same guy that was about to be executed before, right? But then they stopped? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But so, from what I'm understanding, like, everyone outside is dying. And I guess he, in his way, sort of is trying to save them by sacrificing lives because he thinks that's gonna appease the gods or something? I guess? Maybe? Or maybe he's just completely evil. <laughs> that's also a possibility. Oh! Is it an eclipse? I guess so. Yeah. What are you doing looking at it? You're not supposed to straight look at it! No wonder he's crazy if he keeps staring at the sun and eclipses like that. <laughs> Oi. Oh no. 
Oh no. Ah. Uh. Gods give me strength. I'm ready for quick time events. I'm ready. Oh, is he gonna kill the king? He might kill the king. Or not. He's dead already. Indeed, hurry up a little! Oh, don't! Not now! Are you kidding me? I thought you were gonna help him! Oh my god, come on! I thought you were gonna help him! What are you doing? Oh my god. Okay, well there we go. Eh. Who is Alfred? What have you Arcadian got to unleash such force? We've been cursed. Our king has cursed us all. We thought you were the demon. We were wrong. Duh. I king sacked the temple at the pool. He builds this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. Now he too is silent. But did he kill himself? Oh, relationship updated. I followed a fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What do we do? There is a way out through the catacombs. Ah, they no, thank you. you. No, thank you. I have no choice. Do I not? Oh. Come on! Run, run, run! Okay. Well, maybe a little bit more hurry. No? <laughs> Why are people so stupid in horror things? Why? I mean, going into the catacombs also seems stupid to be, to be completely fair. These are my nemesis, the quickly smashing buttons, guys. I suck at it. So that's gonna be your problem. Is this little blood on the ground? Go. Oh, we're gonna practice staying hidden. What are these things? Okay, I'm ready. These were not difficult in Little Hope, but in Man of Medan, they were definitely more difficult. Oh, there I go again. Okay. Now I'm gonna switch to Y, I'm guessing. I'm ready. Come on! I keep thinking it's gonna switch! Gonna switch now? No? I around. can't believe that's just it. No way. All this really? For nothing. They died in vain. For a mad king. Is all blood. Oh. Press and hold right trigger to pick up objects. Use art to examine. Some interactions reveal secrets. Secrets you find can be viewed in a collections and characters screen. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Why? Ah, oh. Already with the jump scares? Oi. 
search the exit, find the secret exit. Use R to move camera and light source. Oh, there's something here. Well, Use R to look around. Well, there may well, be well, information. Why did your king raid the temple? Same story that history has taught us. For gold. For glory. For greed. I read about this. We have a completely free... Oh, there's more here. Uh, Reign of the camera now. So it's not fixed views anymore. So that's going to be really interesting. And we have a light source now that we can direct to find secrets, which is also really interesting. Oh! Oh, these are the new things. Okay, let's see. Arisen. Who could that be? Could that be one of our guys? But he has horns now. I think he has horns. Look, do you see that? Very quickly. There, look. Looks like horns, right? So I'm not a good guy, probably. But Lathu uh, with Karum are... Well, I mean, we started in the middle, which is very surprising to me. You'd think we'd start off not on the right foot, but... <laughs> um, is this a secret already? No. Okay, I see. So zero secrets yet. And then we also have bearings. Okay, so that's very similar to the other games. I don't know like how much the light source is gonna come into play with finding things. Uh, it has me a little bit worried that I'm gonna miss a bunch of stuff. Yeah, okay, we do not want to go into that pit. That's also not the right door, I'm guessing. But what are we? Find a secret exit. And he just keeps walking around? Is this not it? Find a secret exit, search the catacombs. Am I not doing it right? I mean, we saw this. Right? Am I missing something here? I feel like I checked the whole screen. What can we see? Not that much. Can't really conclude anything from that. How am I missing a whole exit, guys? That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Check that out. Oh! It's just this door. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> it's just this door. Help me with this. <laughs> Forgot his name, but I feel like it's not Bal Balatho, but the other guy. The guy that was about to be executed. I feel like he's the one that was rising. But I'm not sure. You first. We're safe down here. You first. Close the door behind you, please. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutian. You are guardians fought hard Ooh, to that's destroy his name. our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? We help each other, obviously. The enemy of my enemy is a friend. There you we go. Help each other. There is always hope. Close the door behind you. You're being followed by monsters. Like, oh. can I close it? What was that? Oh, well, we're hearing things already. That's not great. How many ways into this tomb? We're not alone down here. Are we not? Oh my god, don't scare me. Okay, I'll just follow you. Uh, never mind the secrets. Where are you? I thought you were gonna go in front. Why are we not alone? How do you know? What am I missing? Ooh. Okay, the camera view is still messing me up a little bit. But I don't see any secrets, so I guess we move on. <laughs> I don't want to move on! Okay. Over here. Ah! Hide! 
हाइड हाइड I got a message. I got a message. I got a message. I got a message. Did I get it? Did I get it? Whoa! I didn't know it's I needed a message. Hide, maybe? No. It's coming. No. I got it. There's no escape. Okay. All hope is to stand together. No. If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. Fight? No, I'm gonna fight with him. I'm not gonna betray him. We just shook on it. We just shook on it. Do you even unlock the sword and the shield? Oh, is this what we saw? Oh. To be honest, I feel like either way we're gonna die. So let's not get any more curses on us by betraying people. Woo! That was fast. Him? Is he dead? No, he's not dead. He's the one who's gonna rise. I know it. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. And otherwise, the other guy would have died, maybe? No, he's still gonna die. They're gonna die either way. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bearing update. Let's check that out for a second. The ancient one. Balatha was the last to die in the temple. Of oh, does that matter? Who was the last to die? In the temple catacombs. Okay. Hmm. And there we go. We're back to the start again, guys. Whew, I feel like this is going to be some journey that we're going to take here. <laughs> oh. Am I nervous? Yes, I'm so nervous. I don't know why, but this already seems so much scarier um, than the other two. I don't know what it is. Oh. Maybe also because I know absolutely nothing about this one. Oh yeah, Ashley Tisdale is playing in this one. <laughs> okay. I love that they keep this song in all of them. This song is absolutely amazing. And we have the curator back, which is really exciting. But so they were both doomed to die either way, but it mattered apparently which one died last. I guess. Okay. Well, I have no clue what effect that's gonna have yet. <laughs> if you guys feel like it, feel free to leave a comment on the first video, so this video, with how many people you think uh, I will get to the end. So how many people will I keep alive? If you feel like, like betting, you know, let me know. <laughs> Leave a comment and then we'll see how many of you were correct. So from what I've understood, we're gonna have five people again. So how many out of the five people am I gonna keep alive? Probably zero. <laughs> Probably zero. <laughs> but so one thing that I'm I was really disappointed by was that both Man of Madan and Little Hope in the end. On the edge of an abyss. Your survival depends on the choices yeah. you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation? Or Probably be lost not. In the darkness? Probably. <laughs> oh, nice with the lightning. <laughs> You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. It's good to see you again. 
You're probably keen to get started. Let us not dally any longer. <laughs> As you are aware, I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. Doesn't it look stunning, guys? This you can like see his pores, like oh, so good. It is filled with untold stories, stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal. There is out a book of a little hope as well, and probably Man of Medan. And death. And another Understand one. Understand that I am not here to help you. <laughs> Although I have been known to bend the rules. Time to time. Yeah, sometimes he gives us hints as well. Is that a statue outside? Or a person? To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Yes, please. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures, uh, hmm. pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, Sans oh, all of them are something you want to avoid. See how you fare. So then I picked the wrong option now. With who died last, I think. But yeah, so what I wanted to say was that I was quite disappointed at both Manomadon and Little Hope. It turned out that there was not anything supernatural behind it. Uh, it was all like, haha, it was just a dream, you know, at the end. <laughs> I'm really hoping that's not going to be the case with this one. I would be very, very disappointed if that's, again, a thing. So yeah. But I'm going to go into it very cynical. Because both the other ones, it wasn't anything supernatural. Jason Kolchek, First Lieutenant USMC Force? Girl. Something, Girl. something. Eric King, Lieutenant Colonel Yusef, Rational and Insecure. Okay. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Apologies for arriving early. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Let's, are moving fast. Let's keep Kurt. it nice. Glad to have you on board. No reason to make enemies already. As soon as we get word from the CEO, you're good to go. You should read this. Oh, she is chewing with her mouth the open. The new king in the castle. Who's that we? You are? Um, this is my assistant. This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Gold check. First lieutenant. Cold check. Well, wow. the briefing room? So, our considerate trait went up twice just now. So, are these the last characters then? What's up, Maureen? Then we're at five. Can't you keep up? Rachel King, CIA field officer, commanding and abrasive. Nick Case, agent, force, recon, defensive and romantic. This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I'll So she's as actually right? These last actually, few weeks, you, you've lifted me up. Aww. You. Oh, you cutie! Aww. Look at you. Rachel King. Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Oh, less of a cutie now. I mean, Rachel. Less of a cutie. Us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. Oh, but I don't know any of them. How do I know which one is nicer? I mean, it's got to be over either way. If you cheat, you know. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. Yeah, that's true. But if you cheat, you shouldn't stay with your partner. Like, just get it over with. Soon. 
Right? I don't know. Did I already make a wrong decision? Oh, Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Shit. That was weird. For some reason, I thought she had no legs. I thought I saw that for a second. But clearly, I saw it wrong. <laughs> Marines. You'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Close my mind. What's his accent? Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Wow. If only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> we got the CIA, we got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless mm. America. God bless America. Pure thing. Anything I can do here? Oh! See you, old man. Keep busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah. Well, you miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. Huh? No, thank you. you. Ah. See you just fine from here, thanks. Oh. Corporal Merwin, he likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. <laughs> Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just mm -hmm. taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. Yeah, at least they have something in Let's common. There, they can bond over that. They like the, the same woman. <laughs> so what's his malfunction? <laughs> Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. This villain ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. I thought hey, I was gonna walk again. Nope. Sitting behind a desk. You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know. <laughs> so this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Yep. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King, Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. <laughs> He's like, whoops. <laughs> Give the colonel full sight access. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Uh, that's my wife? Excuse me? That's my wife you're talking about. I had no idea, I'm sorry. Nice work, hot shot. <laughs> Angry went up. Yeah, but I'm sorry. I'm gonna defend my wife. Like if my someone calls my wife a bitch, you know, you gotta be a little bit angry about it. You can't just be like, ah, oh, that's fine. That's fine. Sorry. Right? I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So she's the queen bitch now. <laughs> up in the world. <laughs> we like to think of it as a term of endearment. <laughs> the queen bitch. Mm, okay. I'm gonna try so hard to keep them all alive, guys. I'm really, really gonna try. Right. Wait for a team inspector briefing up. room. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. Oh, okay. They like it. each other? <laughs> Subject, survey group anyway. objectives. Looks like an old ballroom. I want to hear that as exactly well. What it is. I guess you damn like to get down on the dance floor. Dance partner stepped on his foot, it'd be an instant off with her head. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin me around a little. Okay. On my foot. Mm. <laughs> to Directorate of Central Intelligence. Directorate of Central. Ah, oh, no. Really? I gotta keep moving while they talk, but I don't want to miss anything. Oh, 
Oh no, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. How many clues did I miss now? Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I should be nice to our wife. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. Who does she remind you me of? You call me Clarice. Familiar. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? It's weird loading screens. Like for a second it looks like you're gonna control the character and then you have the loading screen afterwards? And what then the cutscene again. Modern art or something. This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh. Wow. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Please, pioneer away. <laughs> you behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Jason seems Very all right. Well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. Ah, uh, is it gonna be chemical yeah, weapon thing again? CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. I really hope that's not a thing again. There are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. It's what a charming a guy. Uh. Make no mistake. <laughs> Those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Mm -hmm. Hey, careful, boy. <laughs> <laughs> out fast. Could have been your papi. Uh. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? Uh, no, I mean, let's, let's request air support. I'll put in a request for air support to be on standby. Rational went up. Our okay. birds can fly low under the radar. The site is in the Zagros Mountains, so we'll have plenty of ground cover. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying. Yeah. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. It's so Make echoey, no which mistake, is really cool. And gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm with you, Joe. Let's tingle down the back of my neck. Do we? Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I've got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm going to download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. 
Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Am I him? Uh, let's not be intimate now. That's gonna make things more difficult for her. Let's be excited. Rich, this is it. We're overbearing. Everything I've worked on these past okay. years. It's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. Mom, break up with him already. Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. There we go. Rach, Good girl. Don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. David. Uh, I want to see that hey, very quickly. Can I? Oh, no, I can't see that. Oh, oh okay. Shit, sorry. She got in that box of tricks anyway. The fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll we'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you... Oh, sure. Check all equipment. Then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. I really want another opportunity to... to explore the place. But he wasn't wearing his... Uh, ring as well then. Okay, but guys, I think we are going to be ending the first episode here then. <laughs> um, this is... I'm really excited to be honest. I mean, I'm really scared as well, but I'm really excited to play another one of these games because as much as I hate horror, I do very, very, very much love these games. So... Yeah, it's, it's a mixed bag of emotions. <laughs> um, I hope they're not going to have too many time things. They didn't have that at all in Little Hope. And in Man of Madonna, I did have it, but I was playing with someone else. So that might explain why I had it. I don't like feeling rushed. Like, I want to explore everything. I want to find all the secrets. I want to listen to everything, read everything. So yeah, I hope that won't be here in this game too much. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Won't you spare me over till another year?